So I've been to Starbucks and got a mocha frappuccino, back to the fave, which is really melted. It's so hot here today. It's like 40 degrees Celsius, I think. I don't actually know what that is in Fahrenheit. So I wanted to give a kind of update on my recovery in this video, which feels like a bit of a weird and personal thing to do, but I think the stage I'm at, other people might relate to, so maybe it'll be helpful. And I don't want this to be triggering, so I'm not gonna mention numbers and stuff like that, but my BMI now is a healthy BMI. It's not like the low, low end of healthy, and it's perhaps not even what my body would want it to be. Like, it's probably not my genetic set point, but it's definitely healthy. And being really, really honest, I feel so uncomfortable, like in my body, in my own skin, in my clothes. I feel different, like body parts feel different, things touch, clothes feel different. They don't like hang in the same way. I know I look different. People tell me I look different. I get a lot of comments like, oh, you're looking so well and that kind of thing, which straight away you just think, oh, that means fat then. Or actually sometimes I don't get comments at all which is almost even worse because then I'm like, well, now I just look normal if no one's commenting. And for me, I kind of never was scared about getting fat in recovery. My fear really is just being normal, like being a healthy weight and having a normal shaped body and not being dead skinny and not being perfect, but yeah, just being normal. I think I'm just finding it really hard to adjust to, like, I've lost my little thing that I used to hold on to, like, oh well, look, I've got little skinny legs or I fit this size jeans or that's the number on the scale. Like, it was almost like that was a safety blanket for me or like my little security of, oh, it doesn't matter what goes wrong in your life, as long as you're skinny, everything's okay. Which I know is bullshit, of course, but like, that is how I felt when I was underweight. I spoke to my psychologist about this yesterday and she was so helpful in reminding me that like recovery is uncomfortable, but it's all temporary discomforts, which again is obvious, but it's so easy to forget. Like when you're freaking out about what you've eaten or you've gained weight or you feel not great, you've got digestive problems, whatever, you feel like that's gonna last forever. So yeah, reminding me that it doesn't last forever was helpful because you can't wait until you're like not scared of these things to do them. Like, oh, well, I'll drink frappuccinos when I'm not scared of them anymore. Or like, I'll be a healthy body weight when I'm not scared of it. Like. No, it never will just happen on its own. You kind of have to force it. And I guess also like, of course it's uncomfortable. I'm going against all the rules that I've held, all of the beliefs I've had that like, you have to be skinny to be happy. But it has helped me a bit to think like, it's a temporary discomfort. I just need to like tolerate it, wait for it to pass, wait for my brain to rewire as well. Because I think it's so hard in recovery that like everything recovers at different weight, weights. <laughs> rates <laughs> you've got physical recovery mental recovery body image recovery fears of foods and timings recovery i don't know compulsions to exercise recovery like they don't all just like recover like this together and so i feel like mine now is a bit like maybe my body's recovered a bit ahead of my mind recovering or certainly of like my acceptance in my body and being healthy and normal but then like reading blogs and watching videos and stuff, people who have recovered say that it took them like a year to get used to their healthy body or longer. So I know I can't just get to this healthy weight, not like it for a week and then think, fuck this, I'm running back. <laughs> Which honestly is a bit of a temptation, but like if I stop and think about it, I know that is such a like short term quick fix. And yes, it would make me feel better right now. It would like, if I was skinnier again, I'd be like, oh, that's good. I feel a bit better. But then like long term, where's that going to get me? Oh my God, <laughs> so separated. I wanted to share a couple of like ways of thinking that have been helping me to stay on track and not do that quick fix run back thing. Because let's face it, that is bullshit. So one thing that's really helped me is to try and like step back and keep my eyes on the bigger picture. So thinking things like, who do I want to be in the world? What life do I want to live? What are my goals and values? Because it sure as shit ain't restricting my food, losing weight, being a tiny weenie jean size. I do not value that in people. And I know I won't look back on my life and think, oh, thank God when I turned 30, I weighed X. 
and it also helps me to remember that we can look back on being ill with like rose tinted glasses so you remember skinny as being so good I'll see old pictures of me when I was skinnier on like Facebook year flashbacks that kind of thing and I'll be like oh my god remember how happy I was then or like I'll see a photo of someone else who's skinnier than I am and think oh she must be so happy what the fuck seriously like I went into recovery because I was miserable like really does being skinny make you happy what is good about thinking about food all the time caring about calories more than you care about your family which is a horrible thing to say but Honestly, like eating disorders are completely consuming. What's good about losing your personality, being completely rigid, never having any fun? Waking up and your first thought is, what am I gonna be eating today? What did I eat yesterday? How much do I need to work out to be allowed to eat whatever? Are we going out for dinner later? Shall I compensate for it now? An exercise my psychologist got me to do is to make a list of everything I hated about suppressing my body weight and restricting and everything that I'm enjoying and loving about being healthy weight and being able to eat properly and the aim of it is to take that step back and like keep yourself connected to that bigger picture so you don't get lost in the minute of but I feel uncomfortable now I just want to lose weight now I just want to miss these calories now but it's so easy to lose sight of that bigger picture when food's in front of you or when you face weight gain or when you're trying to adjust to your healthier body Another thing that's really helped me is trying to practice some body acceptance and something I got from what Mia did next on her channel she talks about body neutrality like you do not need to love your body but you can love the life that it allows you to live and for me it really helps to take that focus off your body like I am not recovering to have a perfect figure I'm recovering for my life so just thinking like okay I want to accept my body because it allows me to live. Like when I have a healthy body, I don't think about food all the time. I don't crave food all the time. I don't think I can eat and eat and never ever stop. Well, sometimes I still do actually, but not as badly as I was. And I'm definitely getting a bit more mental space, more personality back. I just feel a bit more with it, to be honest. <laughs> and so yes, I don't love my body. I feel uncomfortable in my own skin, but I'm enjoying my life a lot more. So I'm really trying to think like life positive, body neutral, try and accept my body, even though I feel really uncomfortable in it, because it lets me live my life by my actual values and not by anorexia values. I may not love this body, but I love that I don't have to restrict like fuck to maintain it <laughs> or exercise or whatever your issue is. I may not love this body, but I love that I can now go out for dinner with people or go for a spontaneous drink without having to work the calories into my day. I love that I can eat at different times and not have to have everything completely pre-planned and rigid just for me to feel safe. Like, yeah, I feel like I'm waffling, but there's a lot of things that having a healthier body allows me to do. And I really enjoy those things, even if I'm not loving my body. And that might sound a bit shit. Like, I'm sorry if people are hoping for body love and whatever. And don't get me wrong, that would be amazing. If I could get to a point where I just loved my body and I'm <laughs> happy with myself, great but like it's quite a jump to go from hatred like restriction starvation blah 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 straight into oh and now I'm healthy and I love it like I don't know let's be realistic so I think what I'm trying to do at the moment is just give it time like not get to a healthy body maybe my body does need to get a bit healthier to be honest but I don't want that to happen and me to freak out and run back because I know like things do recover at different rates and maybe my physical is overtaking my mental, but like that's not a reason to pull my physical back down. Like if I can just hold it and keep it healthy, then I can like keep working on the other things and letting those catch up. And I know it does work if I think about it, like the foods that I've challenged, having calories in liquid is a big one for me, but I've challenged it again and again and again. And now I'm feeling a lot more comfortable about it gaining weight I hated it but like I've survived to tell the tale it's exposure isn't it it's like repeat exposure you can't just expose yourself to something briefly not like it and run back like oh I had a frappuccino and it made me feel really anxious so I'm never doing that again no you have to like challenge repeat challenge repeat not compensate challenge repeat <laughs> and then over time it gets easier so ugh, I don't know
I'm definitely still at this stage of recovery, so I don't feel like I've got huge words of wisdom like, oh, it's fine, it's gonna get loads better. Because I know, I feel really, really uncomfortable. I'm just hoping that staying here and like keeping exposing myself to it, not freaking out running back, like, yeah, that it can get better and that things can kind of catch up so it's not like physical recovery, everything else is fucked. <laughs> I'm definitely waffling now. And just thinking of like an example of how things get easier over time, I'm supposed to be going for dinner with some friends tonight to a restaurant that I have not checked this menu online because I don't need to. Like I know I'll be able to eat a proper meal when I'm there and it doesn't matter if they have like butter on their veg or I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna have to like not have this now or change what I'm eating in the day. And the plans have kind of just changed and we might be going to someone's house instead now and either she'll cook or we'll get a takeaway. And I also don't care which of those it is. Like I don't care what this girl will cook. I know I'll be able to eat it. And same with the takeaway. I don't need to have like my own special meal served in my own way that's safe. Like I know I can join in and eat with them. Shit. <laughs> Well, that's on my foot anyway <laughs> so yeah i guess that's an example of like things getting easier over time and also this point of like accept my body for the life it allows me to live like i love that i can go to a restaurant with friends or be cooked for or get a takeaway and not have to know every single little detail and plan <laughs> so lots of love to everybody and like Whatever stage you're at, if you're feeling uncomfortable, that is recovery. Like, we cannot go through this and not feel uncomfortable, but it's temporary. It won't last forever. Anyway, <laughs> hope everyone has a lovely weekend.